Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Anodyne 2. So, as you can see, we're still, or not still, we're actually back in the eastern uh, Blue Vale, where we have not explored this, uh, well, little spiraling part. Uh, but we did see that weird creature thing. I mean, I'm assuming it's probably sentient. It's a house, well, I called it a house dragon last time. I guess it does have four legs. It's with that fence or whatever it is. That almost looks like tail feathers or something, so, it, I don't know, it almost looks like a, like some kind of turkey or something. It's a, it's a very strange, strange beast, and this might be, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll learn who this person is and maybe what that thing is. Fame it cool, huh? Ah, it's good to be back home. I wonder how old Longway's doing. Oh, Longway. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Are you a new resident of the valley? Oh, right, you're the nano cleaner. I guess we both came here from Sanot. For a while I was scraping by in the big city as the f front, mo front woman of a band. But uh, then my parents left for travel and wanted me to take care of the house. <laughs> take care of the house, huh? Okay. Have you seen Longway? She's a scientist who lives up the big steps. Scientist who lives up the big steps? No, I don't think I have. What big steps? Maybe. Is that up ahead? Are those the steps? Maybe. Uh, we, fell, we fell out of touch when I moved, but I still think about her sometimes. One time, she used her chemistry set to mix up some sort of concoction for me to spike my hair. <laughs> okay. Are you talking about back in some... Not also, your legs uh, or feet? Those look like uh, these uh, kinds of... Uh, special prosthesis... Prostheses? Pr prostheses? Um, interesting. What's it like to be a rock star? Oh, <laughs> it's pretty fun overall. I'm lucky. I don't really have a lot of bases for comparison. It can be a lot of pressure, but I never really thought I could be anything else, so... I'm glad to be back home for a spell, though. I missed hearing the sounds of birds. House birds? Even if you're very familiar with someone's artistic work, it doesn't mean you totally know them. On the other hand, even if you know someone personally, you don't always know them either. I guess there are just different ways of knowing. Imagining the interiority of another person is always part projection. But that's not necessarily bad. <sighs> it's good to be back home. Okay, there it actually loops around. Interesting. So, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing she's talking about uh, Longway being somewhere back in the notes. Hmm. Oh, is there actually a ceiling here? Or something stopping me? Oh, it's okay. Hello. Hello? I cannot talk to you. Can I do this? Nope. Certainly there is some way to interact with you, right? Hello. Lower your head, please. Hmm. Oh, come on. I'm not sure if it's even possible to jump onto the head, or, you know, even if it is, if there's any reason to do it. Oh, well, there we go. Guess that explains that. It's a little bit awkward, so I'm not entirely sure this is intentional, but, I mean, I had to try, right? Huh. Well, okay. I mean, I did not try to undust uh, her, but she doesn't really seem to have a problem, so I guess not. Oh, huh. well, I, saw, I thought for sure this was going to be something, but I mean, it still might be. You won't just put such an amazing, unique set piece there and do nothing with it, right? I mean, maybe it's just... Uh, what's her name? Faye? Faye McCool? Faye's house? Maybe this is Longway. Nope, that's Ray Ray Boat Shoes. Uh, okay. Hi. Oh, it's the Nano Cleaner Nova. Uh, the, nano, the Nano Cleaner Nova. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ray Ray Boat Shoes. I'm sorry to say I'm not dusty enough to need a Nano Cleaning. <laughs> I know, it's not something to wish for, but I find the whole process very neat. Well, I mean, there, it's, it's interesting, for sure. Nova, say you were shrunken down and found a dust mite. 
Say you were shrunken down and found a dust mite. If you put the dust mite in your mouth and then grow back to full size, would you then have a giant dust mite in your mouth? <laughs> Is that a rude question to ask? I mean, honestly, a dust mite? I think I, if I'm going down to nano level, I'm definitely... Um, d dust mites would put me in their mouths, I think. So, that doesn't really work. Anyway, oops, is that a rude question to ask? I I would just love to see a giant dust mite. Would you, though? They look actually absolutely terrifying. Up close. Nova, are you a gamer? A gamer? I mean, she isn't, but I mean... Uh, did you know that video games can make you cry? Oh, you're physically unable to cry? Uh, I'm sorry, Nova. I did not mean to be insensitive. But video games can be a very emotional experience. My favorite video game is called An Ode to Dying. It is very sad. I mean, it sounds sad, potentially. Hmm. And yeah, obviously video games can do that. Nova, would you like to have a therm thermometer? It could help you to determine if you have a fever. Sometimes it's just fun to hold to see how cold your hand is. I realized that I didn't have a thermometer, so I went to order one. It was much better. It was a much better deal to get a 12 pack of thermometers than to buy a single one. But then they arrived, and I thought, what am I going to do with 12 thermometers? Th thermometers. That's a yeah, good question. I mean, I, I guess I'd take one, but I suppose that's not really an option. So yeah, you're not dusty enough to need cleaning. Good for you though, honestly. I guess it's not really something you would wish on anyone. So, are you lonely? Nope. She must have been talking about Synode. Hmm. On top of the big steps, huh? Beringia Manju. Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. Oh, excuse me, I was just working out a new beat. I'm Beringia, and this is my drumbird Katsu. Uh huh. I was wondering. Although drumbird seems pretty, seems like a pretty, pretty fitting name. Um, together we travel. New Zealand, but somehow we always find ourselves back here in the valley. Hmm, you keep looking toward the building on the steps. Wait, building on the steps. Wait, is so it... Huh? Am I? I... I'm not really sure. I mean, steps are steps, not like steps as in... S-T-E-P-P-E-S. So... I mean, not that there's... Never mind. I'm, I'm just not sure what they're talking about. Um, that is Lonway Jonstein's laboratory. I couldn't say I know much of Lonway, but I want her to be happy. She stays up there mostly. Up there? What, what are you talking about? Up where? Up on the steps. I just don't... Huh. I feel like I'm missing something very obvious, but... Hmm. Anyway. Uh, she stays up there mostly, smoke and fumes swirling up from her chimneys until late into the night. Most often I run into her at the pond. She leaves little contraptions in the water and checks them day after day. Hmm. I guess I must be talking about a place I haven't been yet. Or I'm less observant than I thought. If you travel farther from the center in any direction, you'll find the outer sands. Well, I mean, can't go there yet, but good to know what's waiting for us, I guess. Further still to meet the sea. Past the sea is the horizon, but the horizon can only be seen and not touched. Is there anything more than any, anything more than all of this? I mean... I've been wondering what we might end up finding if we keep expanding, but obviously we've only uncovered the first, well, the first little bit of the of the real world. So who knows how much more there is. Drumbirds are incredibly hardy creatures. So this is really a creature, huh? I thought, I wondered if it was actually just something you built, but... Well, I mean, obviously we've seen all kinds of very weird creatures here. Very weird. Living things. Hmm. Uh, not only does Katsu relish being pounded, up, pounded upon with wooden sticks, but they also have sheltered me from extreme heat and cold throughout our travels. I don't know where I'd be without Katsu. That's very good for you. I guess I'll just keep going in this direction. But, I mean, we... Oh. There it is. So I just couldn't see it from there. How would I... Why would you... I don't even... I didn't think there was still uh, a major area within this uh, spiraling shape that I hadn't seen. I suppose I could have seen it through that door if I'd actually if I'd actually paid attention to what was past it. I'm assuming I can open it from the side. Yep. 
there we go. Just pops out of existence. I mean, there's not much to see from this angle, so really, I didn't have much of an opportunity to, uh, well, constantly, you know, to keep gazing at at Longway's house. But well, now we're here. It's fine. He saved. I guess we'll have to do a, some very basic platforming once again. Every once in a while. Oh, hey, you're right here. Assuming you are finally Lonway. Yes, Lonway Jonstein. Ah, Nova, you have arrived at last. That is to say, uh, greetings. It is good to see you. I'm Lonway Jonstein, PhD, and this is my uh, brother, Clonway Jonstein. Uh, what? Oh, hi, Clonway. That is certainly not a creature, though. That's definitely a machine. Uh, Clonway, to be honest, is the one you are really here to see. But don't let him get a big head about it. <laughs> he loves that joke, don't you, Clonway? Uh, okay. Nova, have you ever met a PhD before? It means that I'm a doctor of Phil. <laughs> doctor of Phil, yeah. That's um, kind of what it means. Ah, but despite my impressive credentials, I still require the assistance of a nanocleaner. Clonway is sick with the dust. I can observe the sickness with my nanodrone, but I'm unable to truly clean him. Please, Nova, I can feel his pain. Please help my brother Clonway. Sure. The air is thick with the presence of nanodust. Nova, spark this being and forge a connection. Is it really a being, though? I mean, I guess we have traveled into inanimate objects before, so it's not unprecedented. Shrink forth. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm not actually diving into her, although she seems... Well, I don't know, maybe... I shouldn't make assumptions. Maybe this thing is sentient. And actually her brother? I mean, obviously it's something she built, right? It's, let's be honest here. Not that I'm judging or anything. Just trying to understand what's going on, which is, you know, easier said than done in this we weird, weird world. Can you not jump onto that? Seems like you almost can, and then... Uh, I mean, in fact, we can just jump to this ledge from here. Interesting. Certainly this must lead to something something useful, right? You wouldn't just let me climb up here for nothing. Or would you? I mean, we've already found a card and a health upgrade in this eastern part and nothing in the western part. Actually, I took some time to look around the the western section because I uh, took the took a wrong turn from the center and ended up there first. And I did not see anything. I drove around the entire uh, outside of the of the, the ground layer of the of the big the, the, the big plains basically. I didn't see any nooks or crannies in the in the walls with any hidden items. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. It seems strange that this one has so much to discover and that other large area is pretty much empty. But I mean, it's there's no guarantee that I didn't just miss it. You know what? I didn't see anything up here, and I don't want to end up falling and having to return here. So I guess we'll just do what she asked us to. <laughs> well, I mean, it does work like the others. So okay, we start with a lot of gray. Huh? It's that one, huh? Okay. That wasn't so bad. I mean, I mean, to be honest, none of them were so far. It's just... Just me stressing myself out over these, uh, you know, rhythm game sections. if they're not going to get any more extreme than this. Shadowy thoughts take form within the large and mysterious head. Digital doppelganger. Double, doppelganger. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So if the rhythm sections aren't going to get any more... Any, any faster than that, than they have been so far. That should be no problem at all. Oh, you're the avatar of Lonway Janstein. Okay. Nova, it's me, Lonway Janstein, PhD. Communicating with you via my nanodrone. Ah, oh, the nanodrone. Okay. Okay. 
I thought I might be able to assist you, as I am familiar with the, with Clonway's mindscape. You see, Clonway has the ability to create shadow beings within this realm. You may need to use this to your advantage. Okay, can I talk to you? Nope. You're just gonna follow me in. Occasionally pipe up, I suppose. Hey, there's a normal looking person in here. And I forgot what button to press to talk. Well, howdy, I'm the lab assistant. Uh, lab assistant. Right up this way is test chamber one. To the right is test chamber two. And four, uh, I think... I don't have access there. Okay, so you think that number two and four are to the right. Is there also chamber number three? Well, presumably. Hmm. Oh, shadow creatures. Interesting. I'm guessing that I need to s make it step on the button. Wait, do I? Oh yeah, okay. Button, one button activated. Huh, wait. So it can... I thought that was some, some kind of mirror wall, but I guess it's just uh, on the floor. Either way, it seems to be purely cosmetic. Huh, okay. Make the shadow thing step on buttons. And I'm assuming that it dies... Yep, okay. I'm stepping on that. Oh, that was enough. Hmm. Well, I haven't, haven't actually taken any damage yet, but... Okay, so I'll have to somehow... Well, actually, I can just ignore the blobs for the most part. Or rather... Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Not a big deal. We can do this. I'm just gonna... Okay, be careful. And it's all good. Um, is it gonna face through walls? Oh wait, it's not, no. Huh? Wait. Did I want to kill that? Oh, what? Oh, you created a sh you turned the the spike thing into a shadow spike thing. All right. And only spike creatures can, or uh, not spike, only shadow creatures can ever activate those shadow buttons, I guess. Also, yeah, the spike. It looking like there are like two separate rooms on the right side. I guess it doesn't matter to the shadow. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't even looking at the room. Huh, well, I guess we're... Oh. It's tricky that uh, the thing spawns almost on top of the the bad stuff. Can I hit this? Yes. It doesn't hurt me at all. So I'm gonna have to... Carefully... Oh god, this is kind of... Kind of crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, I'll have to make it go through here. Huh, interesting. We actually kind of bumped into each other? Knocked me back briefly. But then it didn't. Hmm, okay. I see. Yeah, so... What was that? Hmm, something popped. So we'll do this, and... After this point, I just... Stop worrying about the uh, shadow clone on the right. Yeah, this is actually pretty simple. Can it even hurt me at this point? Yes, yes, it absolutely can. Can I hurt it? Uh, I think, probably. Okay. I'm assuming I'm gonna... Oh, oh, you can... I can make it talk to things, to shadow things on the other side. Very interesting. Um... Hi, Faye. Oh, that's Faye. Long time to see. Uh, right. Do people still say that? <laughs> that dorky phrase? What's, what's dorky about that? Don't be rude. Oh, uh, no, uh, of course not. It was a joke. Uh, because of how long it's been since we've hung out. Right. So, um, have you seen any nice motorcycles lately? Uh, yeah, for sure. Hey, listen, Clonway. Sorry, sorry to butt out, but I gotta be going now. Catch you later. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, me too. Yeesh, I can't believe I used to hang out with that, with that nerd. Aw, wow. She's not actually like that in real life. Why does he have that that image of her in his mind? I guess it's this... this. Uh, um, she was talking about this pheno phenomenon, huh? About the image that we have of other people. Because we can never truly know what, what another person is thinking or 
you know, how they, what their inner workings really are. We can only make a, an, a more or less educated guess based on on what they show to the outside. Uh, hmm, anyway. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> that was painful to watch, wasn't it, Nova? Clonway can be so clueless sometimes. Well, no matter. It's no skin off my nose if Clonway wants to embarrass himself. I mean, I don't think he did anything wrong there, but hmm. let's just continue to the dust crystal. Yeah, I guess. Can we talk to her again? Yeah, no. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, Clonway? Could you get out of the way? No? You won't? Uh, of course you won't. Uh, sorry, Nova, I guess you'll have to take care of this on your own, too. Take care of this on your own, too. Right. I also only now realize, or I guess in the previous room, that this shadow creature was actually is actually the represent representation of Clonway himself. Which still doesn't really explain why he m mimics Nova's movements, but, you know. Okay, what are we trying to do here? I guess I'm trying to kill him. So we can... Yeah, no, I don't know. Why... What are we trying to do? Can we not just... Oh, because he stops me. That, uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Well, it seems kind of... kind of cruel to basically kill him. I mean, he, he comes back, but still. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Are these dangerous? I guess they can't can't really hit me, so. Wait, what? This just looped around? Okay, that's slightly freaky. Huh, and there was a way off to the right in that one room. But surely I couldn't have couldn't have gone there, right? None of those rooms actually allowed me to go to the right side at all. Huh. Weird. Wait, do you have something to say? Or do you have something new to say now? Nope, I guess not. Wait. Yes, chamber one. To the right is test chamber two. And, and four. Hmm, okay. And you are? This is test chamber two. Further down the hall is test chamber four. What about three? Uh, what? Chamber 3? <laughs> we we don't talk about Chamber 3 here. Hmm. That's not suspicious at all. So I'm guessing this is gonna follow the same style? Okay, except... Wait. Oh. Interesting. Wait. Oh, so... Okay. We can switch back. Um, right. But since we make, need to make sure that the clone survives, we need to do this. And then we switch back so he can activate the switch. All right, okay. Do we need this guy for anything? Um, he's not going to survive. But we need him to hit the switch. Hmm, and there is... Wait. Oh. Oh, it's easy. Right? He should... Yeah, just do this. Wow, I'm also not really paying attention to my my health. Interesting. Is this? Huh. Oh, we can't step on that though. Oh, we'll have to use the spiky friend for that. Okay. Wait, but no, we can't do that either. Oh, we have to. Okay, hold on. God, this is... <laughs> yeah, so we do something like this. Ideally without taking damage, but, you know, details. Right, and we do that. Uh, oh, God. Get constantly turned around. Wait, I'm, I don't even... I wanted him on the other side. That's fine. Easy enough to fix. What are we trying to do here? We can teleport over and then... Oh, we can't... 
directly damage them, I guess. So we have to turn them all into, or most of them into shadowy things. Oh, this is... Hmm. I mean, technically, I guess I can make my way through, but oh, this is not great. Okay, well, this should work. Actually, really not that hard once you figure out what to do. The question is, am I actually accidentally taking the correct path now? No, I guess not. Hey there. Don't think I've uh, I've seen you around here. But don't think I've seen you here around here before. Well, I can I can talk today. I'm sorry. Oh, that's Ray Ray Boat Shoes. Hmm. Not really recognizable from that little sprite, but okay. Howdy. Hi, I'm Ray Ray Boat Shoes. Pleased to meet you. How are you? Uh, wow. Are you a real life PhD? That's so cool. I just removed. I'm just moved here from out to the eastern outer sands. From out the eastern outer sands. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's neat. Wow, you must be so smart. I hear you are a scientist. What are your favorite colors of bubbling liquids to put in your test tubes? Uh, well, that's not really how science works. I mean, some science works like that. Not really based on favorite colors, of course. Wow, this Ray Ray character really thinks I'm something, but I'm just a huge dork idiot. Ray Ray must be an even bigger dork <laughs> if she looks up to me. She. I didn't even realize she was a she. Hmm. Okay. Oh, huh. Ray Ray, I'd better get going. Oh, and now you're being the, the awkward one. I mean, well, fair enough, I guess. I've got some uh, test tubes boiling over it. You understand? Oh, of course, of course. Toot toot. Clear the way, everyone. Important scientists at work. <laughs> get me out of here. Uh, sorry about these interruptions, Nova. Clonway's mind must be a bit on the fritz, creating all these silly shadow shows. Just try to ignore this nonsense. Hmm. Well. Okay. What? Not again! Oh, so I did accidentally take the correct path. That's annoying. Uh. Uh, well, I think you can get around Clonway if you just go, like, to the left and then... Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. Exactly. It's not, just not how it works. So, I mean, this is exactly the same as before. We just do this and kill him off and then we can go. Again. Feels kind of wrong, but obviously there's no way around it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is where we warped. Putting this. I mean, in theory, yeah, everything. Oh, I got a little bit turned around there. Oh, wait. I, I mean, I popped in here just briefly, but I was so, so focused on returning immediately to see if the shadow clone would return. That I didn't even take uh, take the time to look around here, but I'm guessing that there must be another way to to get here, probably from the top. Or hmm, I suppose it's easy enough to return and ouch, return and check. Nope. If there really was a way, or there really wasn't a way. Couldn't be. Is there something I could possibly do? This is so weird. We definitely saw a an entrance leading into the room from the right side. No, wait, we didn't. We didn't really see that. We we saw the one one over, or two rooms over to the right. Hmm. Be a reason not to kill one of these.
Hmm, okay, we cannot create more. Not that it would do anything for me, but... Hmm. Yeah, weird. I don't know. I guess for now I'm just gonna keep going and hope that things will become clear. They usually do, but you know. So theoretically, the chamber three that we don't talk about, oh, wait. Oh, what? Okay, I did not pay attention to the map, so that put me here. And instead of going to where the map shows... Okay, I'm teleported. Well, I suppose that question was answered extremely quickly. It was just a little bit of a, you know... It's just a place that likes to screw with your mind. Uh, well, I mean, we'll keep going for now. I'll have to move these out of the way. Should be good enough. Wait. Huh? Isn't it? Oh. Derp. Just need to make sure to hit the the upper button first before destroying him accidentally or on purpose. Do I destroy the fire thing? Could there be any reason not to? Oh. Not that it's being particularly uh, aggressive or anything. Okay, so here we have... Well, we obviously have a way... Wait. This room definitely has a way to the right, but the map doesn't show one. Wait, or does it? No, no, it's, that's actually just a little bit confusing. Nope, that's not a way. Okay, uh, wait, and these do... What? That's just a... Okay, uh, they're just differently color-coded teleporters. So, here we just... Wait, we move this one so that... Um, well, my, my mind. I actually move him up so that he can touch him. Jesus, this is... Melting my brain just a little bit. <laughs> just constantly changing which side of the screen you're controlling. Oh, you please? Thank you. It's not really that complicated, but man, it's... It's kind of late, <laughs> and I... Uh, well, my brain had a lot of, of work to do today. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to... Wait, I'm not entirely sure what I'm trying to do. Maybe there's something hiding underneath these, or... My plan is probably to kill all of the, the enemies. It's probably all there is to do. And I don't know if that is possible... ...when they are shadowy-fied. I would guess... ...probably not. So I'll just... ...play it safe. Just assume that I... Can't touch them with the shadow thing, but it's actually pretty easy again. All right, here we need a key. Okay, moving danger zone. Not danger for me though. That seems pretty pretty easy. We just do that. It's actually extremely simple. Oh, huh. yeah. Oh no. What's it now? Beringia, of course. I'm Beringia. Hi. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, Safeway. Uh, what was your name again? Oh, uh, Clonway. <laughs> it's no big deal though. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Clonway. What's up? I was just wondering if you wanted to go visit the reddish fields in the west sometime. I hear they're beautiful. 
Uh, I mean, like, together with me, that is. Oh, uh, you and me? Like, on a date? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, if you... Uh, look, Plumway. Uh, you're a really neat person, but uh, I guess I never thought of you as the dating type. You're always just working in your lab. Have you ever dated anyone before? Uh, well, not exactly. We're very different, Clonway. I don't think we could make each other happy. <laughs> well, of course Clonway was never going to get with Beringia. I'm telling you, Nova, this guy is completely delusional. What could be possibly what could he possibly possibly have to offer someone like them? Look, I may be no cooler than Clonway, but at least I'm realistic about these sorts of things. Hmm, kinda rude. Ah, never mind, Nova. We're almost to the dust crystal. After Clonway's cleaned, he'll stop playing out these goofy scenarios over and over again. Mm, poor guy. Right. But we're not quite done puzzling yet. Ah, I'm so sorry! What? What are you talking about? Wait, wait. Just another kill him situation, I guess. Yep. Okay, that removes that, so we can return and kill him. I mean, we're not technically killing him, I guess, so it's all good. Hmm. Or is it? Obviously, there was no way around it, so. Let's just hope that it that was okay. Uh, Nova, are you alright? Oh no, the dust crystal is not dissolving? Is it not? I... Um... Ah, okay, I must come clean. Lon Clonway is not my brother. He is a machine I created to compute the outcome of interactions. Mm. So he was a machine all along, huh? I guess my first hunch was correct. Oh well. I, I intentionally grew the dust inside of him to power his highly complex software. The serum I used to grow the dust must have mutated its chemical structure and now it's now it is resistant to transformation. Uh, Nova, try sucking up my nanodrone as well. Perhaps I can strategically perform the dust crystal perforate the dust crystal from inside your vacuum canister. Let's see if that works. Well, that should about that should about do it. Time to uh oh. Right, we did not actually fight a boss yet. Oh. Maybe there was no boss this time. I guess this place had a lot more puzzles than we've seen so far to make up for it. Clonway. Wait, I mean, Clonway never existed. Not as a real person, anyway. Oh, and I guess he didn't have anything to say. Nova feels the glandilock seed pulsating inside of her. It channels the center's power, transforming the deadly dust crystal into a card. Well, I'm glad it worked eventually. Even though this was a very, very strange one. I mean, what does it, what does that even mean in this game? Every single scene up so far has been strange in its own way. And there's Pelsate again. Ah, <laughs> I hope she will enjoy that little detail. Ah, she's had such a hard go of it. I want her to have have a space where she feels free from all the burdens of the world. Fate be darned, she's still so young. Is this a, a present for Nova? Well, it's nice. I just don't understand it. Perhaps I'm making a big mistake, but I need to do something. Hmm. There's definitely something bad going on that she wants to tell me about. Even though she's not supposed to, right? Something... Something deeper must be must be going on here. Hmm. Nova, because of my deception, you were put in harm's way. For that, I deeply apologize. I was afraid that if the center found out about my experiments with dust... My laboratory would be shut down. But believe me, Nova, never again will I tamper with these forces. They are beyond my control. No. From now on, I will stick to what I know what I know and understand. Why set myself up for failure and embarrassment? Some pursuits are simply not worthwhile. Some experiments will only cause harm. Well, I suppose so. I allowed myself to get distracted by the Clonway experiment. I should return to my original center assigned research topic, Dream Energy. Did you know that one of the most powerful forms of energy in existence is human yearning? Hmm. I mean, it's a kind of energy, I guess. 
Also, her PC is actually running Windows 95 or something. That's uh, a neat touch. Uh, I wonder what the power of human yearning could create. I am very grateful to to be the type of person who deserves to be created with a PhD. Created with a PhD. Okay, so in this universe, I guess that's just something you're born with. Not everyone deserves to have been created with a PhD, or else they would have been. Yeah, that's uh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, and of course we could dive back into Clonway, but I mean... Hmm. Should I make sure that... Oh, there's my sticky stick on my controller again. That's not great. Or actually, no, no, it's, it's it was never gone. I fixed it via Steam settings, but I'm playing this over the Epic Store, so those settings don't apply here. Anyway, um, I mean, obviously I didn't get another card or other um, optional consumable, uh, not consumable, optional collectible inside this, uh, well, dungeon or whatever you want to call it. But I also think that I've been everywhere on the map. Maybe I'm going to check, uh, you know, double check off camera just to make sure. But, uh, yeah, well, we definitely only got one card. But I have not really looked around the southern part at all. I mean, we we drove through with the uh, in, our, in our travel form once. But, uh, yeah, I never got off the, the actual highway, so there's definitely a lot to explore down there. And presumably, you know, at least one major episode that will... Uh, Give us another card. So we're probably still good. Probably haven't missed anything essential yet. But still, off camera, I'm gonna just uh, double check, just take a look at the map and see if I actually have been everywhere. And uh, yeah, well, if that's not the case, then we'll be checking out the southern uh, Blue Veil next time. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.